All right, guys, welcome back to the unofficial guide to Wirecast. Today, we're going to be talking about using chroma keys in order to have really cool green screen effects. So let's jump into it. First of all, uh, what is a chroma key? Well, a chroma key can actually be applied to any source inside of Wirecast. You can use the chroma key or the luma keys. Um, or the color key, actually, and there's three different ones, and we'll talk about those from the main shots shot manager. So you can use a green screen or a blue screen, and you can chroma key out. You can use any color, honestly, um, in the shot manager's box to check the chroma key box, select a color, and then you have a lot of different options for using the chroma key feature. Um, in the chroma key properties, when you use the checkbox, Wirecast will apply the effect and you have some threshold in order to use it. The difference between uh, color key, luma key, and um, the chroma key is fairly straightforward. The luma key is similar to the chroma key, except it is just determined based on intensity while ignoring the color values. The color keys are also useful for like logos and graphics. So instead of basing the key on intensity, it bases it on color. So think about whether you're trying to do like an intensity or a color when choosing what to do. Now, for our example today, we're going to have a really cool uh, female dancer. And what we'll do is we'll put her next to uh, my camera input as well. You see, I have a green screen set up as well, which we will play around with uh, as well. But first, let's start with our uh, dancer here. Now, boom, it's really that easy because this video has like an awesome color key to it. So now we've got this awesome dancer. And just to show you how easy it would be to use, let's add that shot. Where are you? Um, or actually, let's put her above like that and make sure she is uh, above there and then now you can see she's kind of like dancing on the table for example um, that is one way to use chroma key uh, you can see how easy that was it was almost too easy we didn't even need to do anything because the color key was so good that shows you how important the color key is um, let's take her full screen really quickly and show some of the options for color keying. You can see here, she's got a great color key, right? But as we slowly bring the threshold up, what you're going to see is black. And black is good because black means that the background has been removed. Um, so you can see there, as we're adjusting the chroma key, uh, we have the ability to like clip the black and. Uh, Clip the white dip, which makes it a little whiter. And these are just these are just tools, such as the spill project uh, suppression, to get rid of any of the kind of aliasing or pixelization that might happen, like in front or behind the dancer there. Now, let's go ahead and work with something a little bit more complicated, like this green screen background that I have here. It's not. A perfect color key and it doesn't even fill my entire space actually just because this is a one of those web around options here and I wish it was better but this is kind of what a lot of people are working with here and it's going to be challenging to chroma key it so it'll be a good example now when we're chroma keying this the first thing we might want to do is actually kind of zoom the camera in as, as much as we possibly can so this is actually a camera that can be controlled with Wirecast because the uh, Huddlecam HD NDI camera can be controlled. So if we connect to it, we can zoom it in a little bit. Perfect. So we've zoomed it in a little, uh, which is almost the same as cropping, not exactly the same as cropping, but we zoomed it in a little. And I'm going to try to position it a little better. There we go there. Let's zoom out one click. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to start editing 
this shot. And the first thing I want to do is kind of crop it. So I'm going to crop off anything that doesn't have a green background uh, because we can really only use the things that have a green background. So there we go. That's going to be like my main shot. And this would be good for like a talking head, you know, with a presentation in front of it, for example. Um, but now that we have that, it down to something that is using it, boom, the color key is pretty good. And to show this uh, with a good example, let's go to the stock media here and let's do, oh, I just need a picture really at this point. No videos. Let's just put, let's just do deep space. Uh, there's my deep space picture. Drag myself up to layer two. And now it looks like I'm in deep space. So a lot, what a lot of people who play video games will do it like this kind of where, you know, they're in the background. Um, but there's a lot of different ways to use chroma key. So we showed, you know, kind of using it kind of a challenging chroma key situation, which Wirecast handled perfectly. Um, Chroma keyed it right out without too much work. You can see you can kind of go, if you go too far, you become invisible. Uh, that threshold right there was almost perfect. Um, and we didn't have to do a whole lot. So that, that's how you do a chroma key. In an upcoming video, we will show how to use chroma keying to create virtual sets. And I think that will be a really cool option for a lot of you to spice up your video productions in Wirecast. Let me know if you have any questions and follow along as we go through the unofficial guide to Wirecast.